Hey guys, I'm Laura MacGyver and I am back to recap another episode of Team Mom 2. Part three of the Team Mom 2 reunion aired last night. So much drama happened. We had physical fights, people storming off stage, everything that a Team Mom episode needs. So let's get started on recapping the episode. Let's start off with Chelsea and Cole. They sat down with Team Mom OG favorites, Tyler and Kate, to talk everything about anxiety and panic attacks. I loved that Dr. Drew brought these two on because these two ladies, they share something similar. However, they're very different. Chelsea opened up that her panic attacks started happening after she had Watson and they got worse after Lane. Caitlin described hers from trauma, from her childhood. So it was nice to see these ladies sit down, bring awareness to something, use their platform for good. That's what we like to see. The Team Mom OG ladies and the Team Mom 2 ladies coming together for a great reason. Later on, Chelsea and Cole. Everyone always says, I love Cole. This is why I adore him. So last reunion, they connected with an audience member. She broke down in tears and she opened up about her father abandoning her. So they hugged it out. There was a lot of tears. I was crying. I remember it perfectly. They brought her back and Cole made her a gift. How sweet. Just when you think you cannot love Cole anymore, he makes a gift. It was this adorable cube and he wrote all these positive messages on it. So if she's ever having a bad day and just needs a little brightness to her day, she could just look at it. That was the sweetest thing that he could possibly do. And just to see them reunite and open up about the now friendship that they have, it was a beautiful thing. And I was so happy that we were able to watch that. Let's get into Brianna. She finally admitted that she loves Devon. I never thought that we would see the day when Brianna says, I love Devon. However, it's only because of how he treats Stella. Brittany was also there and she sat down and said, look, we can be very hard on Devon and he can mess up a lot. We've seen it throughout the entire season, but the way that he treats Stella is beautiful. We see it all the time. Whenever he comes over to see Nova, Stella runs into his arms and he always brings a gift for Stella as well, even though that's not his daughter. He said, why would I treat her any differently? I would never show up to their house for something with Nova and not Stella. She's a cool girl, she's funny, how can you not love her? And just to see that family acknowledge that, it was so nice and it just warmed my heart. Roxanne was there via video chat because she wasn't able to come to New York and they opened up more about Lewis, who is Brianna's second baby daddy. She said, I think he needs help because we don't really see him. He's only around when he's asking Brianna for, you know, just a couple bucks, AKA just a casual $1,500, no big. Lewis only really came around once to visit Stella. She was screaming at the top of her lungs. I think she's so young that she doesn't really understand that that's her dad. And she looks at Devon like as this father figure. And Dr. Drew pointed that out saying, Devon has been the main male figure in Stella's life for so long that she might not really understand the difference yet. But the one time we saw her with Lewis screaming at the top of her lungs, she just wanted no part of him. However, she is not giving up on him and I have a lot of respect for her. No matter what, she said, the girls are still young. I want their dads in their life. I will never stop trying for them. So to know that Roxanne is their cheerleader, that must be nice for them to watch and say, okay, Roxanne always has my back. Hopefully next season, the dads will step it up because Roxanne and we are rooting for you. Okay guys, here's where it gets really, really good. The physical fight that broke out. So it started off with Kale and Jade sitting down together. And of course, I feel as if Dr. Drew and Nessa wanted to kind of, you know, stir the pot a little bit. They said to Kale, how did you feel when you learned that Jade was joining Teen Mom 2? Kale was not holding back and she said, I was not happy. And all the audience, ooh, I love the little sound effects from the audience. She said, you know, we've been doing this for so long. Me, Janelle, Chelsea and Leah, and kind of Brianna. She's been on the show now for about two years, but the girls weren't even happy when they found out Brianna was joining the show. So I understand where she's coming from, and I think Jay did too. She felt no shade at all. Kale said, we had her on my podcast, now we hit it off, and now we're friends. Then, 
I think MTV knew exactly what they were doing. So they brought Jade's former Teen Mom Young and Pregnant co-stars out, Kayla, Brianna, Ashley, and the two new members that they haven't really had a relationship with yet, but they brought them out too. They asked, how did you feel when you found out that Jade was joining Teen Mom 2? Now also, the Teen Mom 2 cast had no idea Jade was joining the show until a news story broke out, but they were fine with it, except Ashley. After that news broke, there was a little bit of shade back and forth. Ashley claims that the Teen Mom producers asked her to join the show before Jade, but she wanted to stay with Young and Pregnant because that's the show she started on and said, this is where I feel comfortable, this is my show, I don't want to join. That is when everything escalated. The girls kept going back and forth over the shade on social media saying, we have millions of people just bringing us down. We should be supporting each other. We should be loving each other. Ashley went off. This is fake, women supporting women. This is so fake and I don't want to be part of it. There was a lot of curse words. At one point, Kale stormed off the stage because Nessa told her to sit back. Kale has some experience with some Team Mom 2 reunion fighting. As we remember, she had a fight with Brianna over her ex-husband, Javi. So I think Kale, as a, you know, a veteran of the Team Mom franchise, just kind of wanted to you know, sit down, let's chill out, let's talk about it, don't fight too much. She was definitely on Jade's side. Nessa said, Kale, sit back. Note, never tell Kale to sit back. She jumped up, said bye, ripped off her mic. Nessa was sitting there like, what did I do? Nessa, you told Kale to sit back. Big mistake. Then Ashley stormed off the stage. Dr. Drew sat with the remaining ladies. I just love how Dr. Drew acts as if he has no idea what's going on. He's sitting there, what shade? What stories? What's happening? No one likes each other? Yes, Dr. Drew. He was just very confused. So he asked the ladies, you know, what's going on? They explained it. They had no idea there was problems. Ashley came back on stage, had a huge fight. Security had to just rip the ladies apart. Heels were being taken off. I love when the heels are taken off. And they just separated them and that was it. I also loved how he was trying to wrap up the show as you heard them screaming. He's like, yeah, you know, just stay tuned for next season. We'll be right back. And the girls are screaming. He was just so alarmed, like, what do I do? But there was no physical fights. It kind of got to that point, but luckily MTV security was quick to separate them. They all left the stage. The audience was silent. And it was just a perfect way to end the Team Mom 2 season. You know, what better way than a physical fight at the reunion? Besides sitting down with Chelsea to talk about anxiety, Kaylin brought a Teen Mom OG sneak peek, which was filled with so much drama. Amber Portwood's arrest. Good. That was just a wild time and I'm excited to see how the MTV cameras capture it. Also how the girls react. We saw Macy and Caitlin on the phone just going, ay, 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 her arrest. Also, Kate weirdly surprised Tyler with something. We don't know what it is, but she had a blindfold on him and it looked like they were outside. He was so scared and you saw a little camera just showing Kate's reaction to the video and she was laughing it off saying he was so confused. I'm wondering, what the heck did you surprise Tyler with? It's they were wearing white, so it's very weird. I'm looking forward to it. Also, Cheyenne talking to her boyfriend, Matt, about possibly taking a break. My heart is going to be shattered for sure. Also, Corey sat down with Cheyenne and said, I think your focus has shifted. She was like, what do you mean? He said on Ryder, she was Furious. She said, you look stupid for saying that. Then Mackenzie was telling her husband, Josh, that she can't be with him if he slept with another woman. At one point she said, I'm a 10, he's a two. Burn. Also, Macy sat down with Taylor and they were bashing Ryan Edwards saying that he is using Bentley as a prop because as soon as they were filming him golfing, he had to bring Bentley along and you overhear Macy saying, I feel stupid. So we have a lot to look forward to when Team Mom OG returns very soon. They did not announce a premiere date yet, so I cannot wait. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below to see me recap Team Mom OG when it returns. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in to my Team Mom 2 recaps and I will see you soon and happy holidays. Bye.